Welcome to the Don't Call Me Skinny podcast. I'm your host, Coach Sarah J with CP Fitness. I'm an online nutrition coach and trainer who tells it like it is. I work with women all over the world through my online programs. Each Wednesday, I drop an episode dissecting diet culture norms to give you the facts and reality of nutrition and fitness and how they fit into your world. The current diet culture needs to be revamped, and I'm here to set it straight. My passion is teaching you how to take control over your nutrition, fitness, and overall mindset with my no BS approach. Please remember that this podcast is for educational purposes only and should never be used as medical advice. If you like what you hear today, I'd love for you to leave a review, a rating, share it with a friend, and as always, please keep coming back for more. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's do it. Hello, hello, and welcome back. So excited to have you here with me today. This is really funny. I was just talking to my husband about the fact that I feel like I open up every single episode the same way. I say the same thing. Hello, hello, hello. What is going on? And then I close it out the same way. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. (laughs) Like, like I haven't done this a hundred and some times, and I'm just like babbling. I feel like, so I just thought I'd let you in on a little bit of the insight. Also, fun fact about me, um, before I even start recording, I always had like do a little bit of a mic check, right? But I always have to be stupid about my mic check. So I do things like this, like that. I don't know why I do those things because I don't talk like that. I'm not doing those things when I'm recording, but I just thought you guys might like a, a little bit of an insight of what I, of what I, what my life is like in my brain. Um, anyways, so I am super duper excited. Number one, I get to go to another wedding expo. Yeah, I'm so excited. Y'all, the last wedding expo was amazing. I got to meet some amazing people, just have great conversations with women from all over, different walks of life, different goals, different mindsets, and it was just amazing. So if you are in the local Detroit area, I will be in Troy at the San Marino Club on Sunday. Um, You would also be able to get to meet my very cool VA, Carrie, because she's going to be there with me. So uh, that is from, I think, from 11 to 2. You should probably look at that, right? Like maybe I should put that in my calendar the time I should be there. But um, so I'm just really excited about going to do this. And because a little bit of a, a thing, my step challenge did so well my move into March. We're going to do a little bit of the same thing. And y'all can win a spa day on me. A spa day on me. How exciting is this going to be? So uh, the person that won it last time, she like messaged me and she was just like, this is so amazing. Thank you so much for like doing this for us. Like, but I think it's so important. Sometimes we all need our own cups filled. Like we have to fill our cups guys. So I love doing this. I love, um, people who are just dedicated people who are showing up. So this step challenge, it's called, it's called May in Motion and May in Motion is going to be May 10th through the 31st. So it's basically three weeks uh, starting on May 10th and we're going to go all the way to the end of May and uh, into that June. I can't even, I can't even believe I'm saying the word June, like it's coming, but it's almost here y'all. And again, that winner, whoever it is, is going to get uh, a spot on me. Like, well, the fuck, that's so cool. Uh, so like, basically what I did for this person is sh- she did not live by me. All I did was like Google or ask her if she had any like recommendations that she or places that she already went to and she did. So I just bought her a gift card for that place. It worked out so amazingly. So the cool thing is, is here y'all have to go into the consistency compound to get into the step challenge. So there will be a link in the show notes for you to join the consistency compound as well as there's already recipes, there's uh, workouts and form videos all already built in there for you as well. And so then you're also going to be joining in to the step challenge. You have to be in there. I'm not doing it uh, the way I've done it before, but uh, I'm excited, a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie because you know it's not going to be perfect, I'm sure, uh, this, since this is my first time. But anyways, main motion, May 10th through the 31st. Uh, please join us in the consistency compound for that spa day on me. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, right? Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying Muscle Monday podcast. I was very excited to get 
the second one out and I'm trying not to like talk about like too many things that are going on and just get to the nitty gritty. But uh, there's also a link in the show notes, you guys, if you have specific questions around training, training specific, put them there. Or you can always go into the consistency compound and ask there too. I'd be happy to answer anything that you guys want to know. It's an anonymous form that you can fill out actually that is linked in the show notes. So you don't have to leave your name, your email or phone number, nothing like that. It's just literally you can ask a question, any question you want. Okay. Let's get on to this topic. I have done a podcast a while back. I don't even remember which one it was about this, but we're going to go into a little bit more depth because y'all, it is out of control and I'm seeing a lot of frustration. Women are frustrated. They're fucking frustrated right now because we have so much information overload. There is so much information at the fingertips that we have when we have access to our phones and then we have all the social media and we have all this stuff. And it's like, it's so much, right? What does that actually lead to? It leads to action avoidance. Why? Because it's like, I don't even know what the fuck to start with. I have 65 fucking things that I could start doing. I don't even know where to begin because what's the right thing to start with? I don't even know. And six years ago, seven years ago, when I started this, it was already bad enough. Y'all, it is exponentially fucking terrible, the amount of information that's out there. And unfortunately, people still talking about trash shit to do. And if I have to say it, I'm going to say it. It's only gotten worse, right? We went from like, keto, 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 keto. It was like the jam for like three years. Like, oh, keto, keto, keto. And now we're at this place where we're like, we've hit Optavia. We've hit fucking weight loss shots. We've hit all sorts of stuff that are just so far gone. It's so far gone. And then you have still people, women just itching for these quick fixes. And it's like, everybody can scratch the itch because it's all out there, right? And so I cannot imagine, (laughs) I cannot imagine trying to begin this process with the influx of information that we have now. It's a fucking shit show, okay? But here's the deal. The bottom line, if you are listening to me, some of you listen to me week after week after week. You don't need more fucking information. Even if you've gotten your information from somewhere else, you don't need more information. Now, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean I'm like, hey, don't listen to me anymore, right? That's not what I mean. But find something, find something that I have said that you can resonate with, that you can hone in on, right? Maybe it's a fitness thing. Maybe it's a nutrition thing. Maybe it's a mindset thing. Like it doesn't matter. It can be the super smallest, little itty bitty thing and just start doing it. Just start doing it. I'm going to tell this story. I have no clue if this person even listens to my podcast. No fucking idea. Okay. And it doesn't matter even if she does. But I'm going to preface with this. This is not me talking badly about this person. What this is, is the, I'm going to show you what the reality of information overload and action avoidance looks like. Okay. This is the reality of it because it has to be talked about and some of you are going to go, fuck, that's me. Right. And that doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make this person by all means, this person is not a bad person. This person just is overloaded with information and has a very difficult time starting to do the thing right? There's a lot of other things that go on and there's a lot of other reasons why this person struggled. But I had a client work with me for a whole year, like a whole year, 52 weeks. Okay. And at the end of the year, physically, she didn't make a lot of change, if any. So yes, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you that I am just one piece of the puzzle. I cannot force anybody to fucking show up. When you sign on with me, I make a commitment to you 100% to show up for you. Everything in my power, I will do to help you. But I am only one piece. You are the other piece and you have to commit to showing the fuck up, okay? 
So partway through the year, like everything kind of started off pretty good, right? And then everything just kind of started falling off, if you will, right? That whole like, I fell off. I, I, did, I stopped showing up and I did my job. I messaged her. I reached out to her. I tried to get her to show up. We pulled back on all the protocols and it was just like, shit, just fucking, you know, go for a five minute walk. Can you get in a five minute walk every day? Like we were literally doing extremely bare bones shit. Okay. And lo and behold, (laughs) during our year together, I see her quote unquote knocking, if you will, on some other coaching friend's door right? I have a lot of friends in this business. Back in the beginning, when I first started going online, after my very first mentorship, it was really encouraged that we go into each other's Facebook groups and do lives with other coaches and things like that to get people excited. Well, that led to some of the people that were in my group following and joining other people's pages and and groups, okay? Which is fine. Legitimately, totally okay, right? She's now knocking on somebody else's door. She was paying me, okay? She was paying me while she's asking and claiming for things that this coach was giving out, trying to join challenges that this coach was doing. She was paying for me, literally. She was already paying for a coach. Now, this particular coach and I coach very similarly, We're going to take you where you're at, fill a gap for where you want to go. We're going to tell you how important nutrition and sleep and recovery and uh, walking and water and all these things are, (laughs) we're not that different necessarily in the approach that we're going to take. It's basically the same shit. Like, you know, I'm going to say this, like when you hire a coach, the people who are out here doing it right, and I'm yes, there is a right way. You already know this if you listen to me. There's a right and a wrong way. The people who are doing it the right way are going to take the same approach. It's a lifestyle approach. How can we make it work for you? Where are you at? Let's meet you there, right? So this person isn't going to give any different protocol to my actual one-on-one client than what she's already getting. And the problem is that this person was just looking for something different, thinking someone else had something faster, something quicker, something special. And this coach didn't. This coach flat out reached out to me. was like, hey, I don't know what's going on. I said, hey, I don't fucking know either. I don't know what, I don't know why she's doing this. He's like, you know, I've already told her, you know, you're already so-and-so's client. Like, this is really not acceptable. Like, this isn't okay, Right. And 18 months later, okay, this person has not been with me for, I don't know, seven months now, uh, her contract ended, and she's still raising her hand for their free shit. She has so much free shit, she could create her own fucking coaching business and hand out this free shit for free and probably have almost every single topic covered. And I don't say this to be mean. I don't say it to be mean because, you know, to be honest, like I I was not any different. I didn't have access to it the way there's access to it now, but I was always looking for that thing. Like, oh, this, this can't be the way it has to be done. Like hard work and showing up consistently. Like, just give me that. Where's that other thing? Who's going to give me that other thing that's over there? Oh, oh shit. That's the same shit. Fuck. Right. Like, I can't, like, how much more information does this person fucking need? I don't know. I'm not really sure. But she can't take the actionable step to start doing something consistently. Some of you are out here. Some of you doing the same things. Raising your hand for that free shit. Raising your hand for this free shit. Trying to go with this coach. Trying to go with that coach. Trying to win. You know, I, I y'all, uh, been there, done that. Big box business coaching are telling people, give away free coaching. Give away scholarships. Do these things to get free whatever. Like, I've stopped giving away free whatever because it's never worked out for me. People want free shit all the time. I have a lot of free shit you can have. One thing that you don't get to have is my free coaching. That's a whole different conversation, but 
Part of the reason why is because I have clients that pay me every single month to coach them. And then here I am about to give some free shit away. What the fuck? Here I am about to give some free shit away to somebody else. That's not fair. That's not fair to my clients. So I, I can't, I, in good consciousness, in my own alignment and integrity, that would piss me the fuck off if I hired a coach and then they're just going to continuously go give away free coaching. Okay. Anyways, here's the deal though. People are still looking for all the free shit. And I know that you've probably seen other coaches put this free shit out there, this free shit joint, get this free guide, my free macros guide, get my free strength training guide, get my free fiber guide, get my free, I don't even fucking know. There are so many guides, right? So many guides. And you probably have seen these people be posting on Facebook. Here's my free fat loss guide. Here's my free boost your metabolism guide. It's all garbage. And I'm not saying that the information in there is garbage. That's not what's garbage. But it's how much more free shit do you need? They literally give you the answer for nothing. They're telling you exactly what the fuck to do. And you still are looking for other fucking places to get it. You're not even applying what they're telling you to do. That's literally the whole point of coaching is the application. But there's coaches on the daily, like I'm talking about, handing out free protein guide, free macros guide, free fiber guide, free workout guide, free fat loss hacks guide, free every other fucking guide that you can imagine. You got Google, YouTube, doctors, social media. You got your friends. You got your families. You got acquaintances. You got the people at fucking vitamin shop to tell you what the fuck to do. Free. It's all free. Free. The places that you can get information, y'all, it's not small, right? There are hundreds of thousands of podcasts. There's hundreds of thousands of YouTube videos and social media posts. I have a free fucking Facebook group where I drop free information all the time, all the time, right? And a while back, I did a podcast uh, called like about weeding out like trash. Like, how do you know if what you're getting is even like valuable? It's called weeding out the trash. It's episode 52. But like all this information that you're getting it only makes it fucking harder to figure out, oh, well, this coach said that, but this coach is saying this, but that coach is saying this, but this coach is saying that. Okay. At some point, <laughs> at some point through all this information that you've come across, you have to have at least one thing that's probably accurate that will probably help you. Like I know the, for a fact that these guides that coaches are handing out, and I might see it a little bit more than you potentially just because I literally am friends with a lot of coaches, which is fine. And so I'm, it might be a little bit more inundated in my world, but like at some point, some free guy that you've had is probably right. Like, yeah, by the way, eat your protein. Oh my God. Yeah, eat your fiber. Here's places to get fiber. Y'all out here talking about type two diabetes and high blood this and whatever, can't poop and all sorts of shit. Fiber, high fiber. Hello. Like, become its friend. Say, hello, Fiber. I'm so-and-so. It's so nice to meet you. We're going to be besties. The Bestie Fiber Guide. See, there you go. I just created a, a guide for you. The Bestie Fiber Guide, you know? But here's where you fuck up. And I, yeah, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to tell you that you fuck up because you don't apply the information. This is the problem. Six years ago, I had a shit ton of fucking information, right? Six years ago, I was bought a book, Thinner, Leaner, Stronger by Mike Matthews. My husband bought it. I talk about it all the time. I read the book. I took the book and I started applying little by little things that I was reading in that book. What to do, how to do, when to do. I was going with my, at the time, the once a month trainer thing that I got at my gym with Jack. Every single month, I'd try to get him to teach me something new. What can I do? Start applying. Start applying it. Like, how many more guides and tips and tricks do you fucking need? Honestly, like ask yourself, man, at some point, if I don't start actually doing some of this shit, it doesn't matter anyway. How many times have you applied it consistently? How many times? Like every fucking day in Facebook groups, variety of everything, moms groups, fitness groups, training groups, all sorts of groups, right? How do I do X? Hmm. Well, legitimately, the answer to that question has been answered 600 times, <laughs> right? And then the problem with that is that, here we go, again, with weeding out internet trash, like, 
What's the fastest way to speed up my metabolism? This is a good one. That question has been asked, I don't even know how many times I've read that question. In groups, out of groups, wherever, right? Well, then you have like Sally, who doesn't know jack fucking shit, telling you to take a fat burner. Then you have Brenda, who doesn't know shit, telling you to like go do some random fucking shit. I don't even know. There's, there's, there's so much shit that's said that it's not even right. I can't even, I can't even comprehend in my brain at this point what, what they say, okay? And then you have crazy safety Sarah that goes in and says, oh, well, actually like just going on a walk and getting in some protein, um, fueling your body properly, that actually is what boosts your metabolism. And then they come back and like, oh, you're wrong. That's not true. Ooh, like who wants to do those things when you can just take this fat burner and do this, stand on your head, bounce up, up and down five times. Like that's way easier. So then you have all this stuff like, but it's the same shit. How do I do X? Then you have 500 fucking answers on one thread about how you do X and 90, like 6.2% are wrong. And then you listen to those people because why? It sounds fun. It sounds tricky and nobody wants to track their food and nobody wants to train hard and nobody wants to sacrifice. Nobody wants to say no or yes when they're supposed to. Nobody wants to do the hard shit. Nobody wants to play the long game. That's the fucking reality of this entire episode. Information overload, action avoidance. The hard truth is you want the fucking quickest, easiest way out of your situation. You're in pain, you want the fuck out. So doing shit the hard, long way, you don't have time for that. I have to lose weight, I have to lose it now. I have to do this, I have to do it now. This is the hard conversation I spoke about last week. You you who have got to start having with yourself. This is only a small part of it, but it is part of it, right? Just a second. Hang on, let me get this quick mix and match meal guide. This is it, I know it's gonna make you change. Hang on, let me get to this amazing podcast called Don't Call Me Skinny episode and then I'm gonna start. Hang on, let me look up really, really fast what quick fat burning videos I can do on YouTube. Hey, hang on, let me enjoy this MLM. None of that is a fucking issue. The issue isn't always knowing what to do, it's fucking doing it. Like, I'm going to use this percentage again because it sounds great. 96.2% of the women that I speak to, well, I know what to do. I just don't do it. Hmm. Yeah, I fucking know that you know what to do. Why? I wasn't any fucking different. I knew what to do. I knew that for the most part, like I needed to not eat like an asshole. I didn't know how to not eat like an asshole. I didn't know how to do that. I knew I needed to stop doing my, my, my eating habits needed to be changed. I knew that. I didn't know how to do that. I knew I needed to do something in the gym. I didn't know what I needed to do, right? This is the difference between knowing what to do and doing it. Knowing that you know something needs to shift and then being able to do the thing or knowing the thing that you're supposed to do, that's not the same, right? I knew I needed to change my eating, but I fucking like ice cream and I fucking like potato chips and I don't want to fucking change. I don't, that's the biggest key right there. There it is right there. I just said it. I don't want to fucking change my eating habits. I like the way I fucking eat. I enjoy it. It makes me feel good, except for when it doesn't. But that's the reality. I don't want to fucking change. I like my food, bitches. I like my food, right? But you're waiting. You're waiting for something magical, Like if I wait another month, something new will be out between now and then that I haven't thought of yet. And the answer is no, won't. Y'all, this shit's not changing. Nobody's gonna create this new fucking thing. The, The reality is it's the hard work and you don't get to not do the hard work. You are not special. Trust me, if there was a fucking quick, healthy way to make this shit work, it'd be invented by now. It would be, it would be. And I'll tell you this, the quickest way for this to actually start happening, like is to start teaching our next generation really what to do the right way so our kids don't have to fucking be in the situation that we are in. That's really, that. that, there's your magic. Fucking teach your kids. Learn to teach your kids so you, you can do better for them, so they can do better for their kids. That's the magic. That's the magic, right? And if you listen to me or you listen to some other podcasts, you don't need a guide to tell you what to do. I'm 110 episodes in, y'all. 100 motherfucking 10 episodes. 
somewhere, I guarantee you, somewhere, I've told you what the fuck to do. You just haven't done it. Actually, I'm going to talk about this really quick because this made my uh, heart flutter, if you will. I had somebody join the Consistency Compound and they're really just trying to get back on track. She was in my walking challenge and ended up joining the Consistency Compound out of that. And so she's like, she's like at the very beginning stages of her journey, extremely very, very beginning. And she had reached out to me about my walking pad that I use and I gave her it. She didn't like it. So she sent her, she bought one. She actually bought one. She didn't like it. She sent it back. Cool. Hey, I like the fact that she even tried, right? So then she sends me a message and she's like, okay, so I did this thing. I got a gym membership. Is it stupid for me to go for five minutes and walk? Is it stupid? I said, trying to shift your habits to make yourself a better you is never stupid. It's never stupid. Her concern was that people were going to notice that she went in for five minutes, walked and walked the fuck out. And I said, number one, I don't think anybody fucking is going to notice. That's number one. Number two, if they do notice, if they have enough care to fucking care about what the fuck you're doing in your life, they need a job, a side hobby, a hustle. I'm not sure what, but nobody should be literally that, like, I don't know, enamored with you that they're paying that much attention. Like they shouldn't, right? So then she sent me a message. She's like, oh my gosh, I just got to the podcast episode where you're like talking about if just going to the gym, you need to get a habit, like literally just fucking drive to the gym and sit in the parking lot and start there. Start just driving to the gym, sit there. You don't even have to go the fuck in. And she's like, oh my gosh, it makes so much sense. And now I know why you said, no, five minutes isn't dumb because you literally just said, just drive and sit in the parking lot. For some people, that's what they need. That's where they have to start. Because the reality is you're waiting. You're just waiting to do the thing that you already know you have to do. You just don't want to do it yet. You don't need another podcast to tell you what the fuck to do or another mix and match meal guide. You don't fucking need it. You already have the information. You're just making this way more complicated, (laughs) like way more complicated than it has to be. And it's just a way for you not to have to start. It's a way that you don't have to sacrifice. It's a way that you don't have to acknowledge that you have shitty habits and a shitty attitude. That's what it is, right? I have people that have every fucking single free thing I have given, that they have every single free thing other coaches have given them. And they started following them, like I said, because they were in these Facebook groups with me, right? And they're still on this train of, I need more. I need more. I need more before I start. I need more before I start. And they haven't utilized one fucking thing that they have gotten for free to do anything about their fucking situation. Then they complain that they're in the same place. This is not a, I need more information problem. This is a, you need to apply the information that you have problem. Pick a thing. I talk about this till I'm fucking blue in the face. I don't know if I go back and listen to every single episode and say this and I give myself $1, I I gotta be at least $1,500 richer. Literally, pick one fucking thing. Literally, one thing. Own it. Make it your bitch. Make it your fucking bitch. Eat more protein. Does it fucking matter how much more? No, just I'm gonna eat protein at every fucking meal today. Do it for a day. I'm going to eat protein at every meal today. I'm going to eat vegetables at every meal today. Pick one. I'm not saying do all of these. I'm going to go on a five-minute walk today. I'm going to actually eat fucking breakfast with some protein in it today. Pick a habit. Pick something. Pick one thing and make it your fucking bitch. Make it your fucking bitch. This is the best free fucking advice I can give you. I don't need to give you a guide that says... Literally, I'm going to create a motherfucking guy that literally says this. Pick one thing, make it your bitch. That's, I'm going to create this guide and you guys are going to be fawning all over. I already know it. I'm going to be like, yes, please give me that. I need that free guide. Oh my gosh. It's going to be like the number one tip. Y'all going to see this shit on Facebook. It's going to happen. The number one tip. Here's the number one tip for getting success for weight loss. Pick a fucking habit and own the shit out of it. That's it, right? I say this like every day, like I said. $1,500 $1,500 richer, except not really because it's my own money, but I say it all the time. And you can keep going after this free shit, right? Oh, I'll just keep, 
raising my hand is what we call it, raising in the hand for all this free shit. Oh, I, I need that guide. Oh, I missed your live. Can I, have, can I see the recording of your live? No, no, you can't actually, right? Still holding out for that free magical thing that's gonna make this different. And I'm here right now. I'm gonna be the bubble motherfucking burster. It's not, it's not going to make it different if you cannot start applying all the shit that you already have. There is nothing new coming. There is nothing new that's going to get you out of having to own your shit and do it the right way. There is nothing that's going to come along that's going to give you long-term success that you're going to do forever. Zero, zilcho, big fat goose egg, nothing. And the sooner that you realize you already have the information that you need, the sooner you're going to be able to take that one thing and make it your bitch. One thing, pick it, whatever the fuck it is. Tell me what the fuck it is. Reach out to me, send me a message on Facebook or Instagram or wherever, email me, I don't give a shit and say, this is the one thing, this is my bitch. I'm making this thing my bitch, make it. That's how you make the change. That is how you start. That is how you apply the information that you already fucking have. Y'all, you already have the information that you need. Stop avoiding the fucking work. Stop avoiding the work. And you can start by taking one thing and join main motion in the consistency compound. Shit, joining the consistency compound could be one thing, right? That could be one thing. There's your one thing. So all the links are in the show notes, you guys. Stop looking for more information. Literally, there's so much information out there. Pick a thing, hone it, make it your bitch, and go from there. I promise you that if you do that, if you just take that one actionable step, instead of action avoidance, I promise you, you're going to start seeing a shift in so many things. Not necessarily the weight on the scale, but in so many other places. So I will see you guys. I always said this last time. I will see you. I will not see you. I say see you because I actually record these. Someday maybe they'll go on YouTube. I'm not really sure, but I do record these. So I'm actually talking to a video. I can see myself, but I know that you guys aren't there. But anyways, I will be back with another amazing episode on Friday No Filter. Have a wonderful hump day. Catch you later. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. And if you like what you heard, please be sure to screenshot and share it with others who may enjoy it too. Don't forget to click the link in the show notes to see the ways that we can work together to start your journey. Always remember that every day is a new day to do better, be better, and begin again.